hey guys welcome to another video on my youtube channel my name is Sybil and please do not hesitate to subscribe and join this family so today I'm talking to the matriculate um, I'm gonna do a series of videos um, addressing the matric class of 2023 um, just to assist on you know the application process and on today's video I'm going to be um, giving you a step-by-step -step guideline on how to um, apply at a university so if you follow these guidelines you know you'll be able to do it yourself at the comfort of your own home or wherever you will be so before you can even start applying i just want to talk about the few things that you need to have before you start the application process so the first thing you need to have an email address um preferably a gmail address if you don't have an email address at all i would suggest that you go to google type gmail and then you'll get an option to to sign up for gmail and then uh, click on that option and then sign up and create a gmail account for yourself this is the account that you will use to apply at the institutions and the institutions will uh, communicate with you via this email address because they prefer email um, address communication the second thing that you will need is your grade 11 report and your id copy so these two documents you will need to certify them because some institutions do require certified copies of your grade 11 results as well as your id copy if you want to go apply but you don't have certified copies you can just go ahead and apply with the ones that you have because most institutions don't require certified copies but there are those that specifically want certified copies and then some institutions do require you to make a payment and application fee um some are 200 or 150 or 300 depending on the institution but most institutions are now free application is free especially if it's an online application so you just make sure that you have those four things in place but with regards to the payment you can go ahead and complete your application without making the payment now but just make sure to make the payment before the closing dates because your application will be processed as soon as the payment is made and all the documents are uploaded so with regards to the documents make sure that you scan them um, if you don't have a scanning app you can download cam scanner or other scanning applications that you can download use that app to scan your documents scan your id scan your report if your grade 11 report is bad like you know that i'm not going to be accepted at any institution with this, with this report use your grade 12 any any report um from your grade 12 year so it can be your march or your june report but make sure that you upload that report as well so wherever they say grade 11 results you just put those grade 12 results but only if your grade 11 results are bad so when you have all the things that i've just spoke about now then you go to the university website you go to their home page don't go to those you know funny websites that say maybe vets application vets what what go to the home page so if it's uj it's gonna say uj.ac.za or it's gonna say university of johannesburg.ac.za and then before you start the application process download the prospectus so this is a document it's normally a pdf document that shows you all the faculties and departments and then all the courses that they offer per faculty per department okay look through all those um, courses that is offered by the institutions and check the require the minimum requirement and then you check which one you qualify for so this is very important you need to apply a course that you qualify for with your grade 11 results or the grade 12 media results that you're going to apply with not with the results that you're hoping to get at the end of the year okay make sure that it's a course that you apply that, that you qualify for right now with the results that you have 
that increases your chances of getting accepted because you already qualify some institutions will not even allow you to apply for a course that you don't qualify for check the subject what's the requirement for english what's the requirement for a first additional language what's the requirement for mathematics and what's the requirement for the remaining three four subjects check those requirements and make sure that you know the course which which you meet the requirements of then you can go ahead and start your application process at the home page you will see where it says applications for 2024 you click on that and then you go to online applications and then you go ahead and start the application and then you fill in everything so that's your personal information so the first um section is the personal information and then um it's gonna go ahead and ask for your parents information or your next of kin and what have you when you're done with the personal information you will move on to the academic um information so that's where they're gonna ask the name of your school what are you doing are you in grade 12 are you upgrading or have you completed or are you working it's gonna ask all that and then you're gonna go ahead and fill in all that information and then it's gonna ask for your subject it's gonna say grade 11 uh, subjects and then you're gonna select one at a time so it's gonna go to the first one you add math what mark do you have what level and then you said add. you say add subject and then you will add that subject after that you go to the next uh, subject you add all the subjects after that you will go now to the um course requirements what are you applying for so that's when you're gonna go with the there's business there's health there's sciences there's law you know so first you select that and then it's going to give you a list of courses that you can apply remember you already checked you already know which course you want to apply for so you go through the list and then you select the course that you qualify for some institutions will even tell you if you are eligible or not eligible to apply for that particular course which is very important because i have seen people applying for postgraduate um qualifications so when are you, you you are looking for an undergraduate some institutions will ask for three choices what's your first choice second choice third choice some institutions there's only two choices so you have to have a choice the first choice of what you want to do and the second choice if you don't get accepted for this what do you want to do so you're going to finalize the academic um, application and then it's going to ask you for a pin this is a pin that you're going to use to log in whenever you want to check your status or you want to do something else you're going to put in they're going to give you a student number and then you're going to use that pin as a password so use a pin that you're going to remember and always write it down so it's going to ask you for a pin you're going to punch it in and then after that you submit the application it's going to ask you also if you have any documents to upload so this will be your id id copy and your metric results sometimes if that institution required you to make a payment they're going to ask for the proof of payment so when you make the payment make sure to email yourself the proof of payment so you can also upload you upload the documents and then you submit the application if you don't have to um if you don't have the documents to upload at the moment maybe you still have to go and certify or you still have to go and scan or whatever click on the option that says i don't have the documents and then it's going to go ahead and submit your application they will give you a student number write the student number down also your pin so after that most institutions will send you an email um, to acknowledge your application and then that's when you can go ahead and log in you go and log back in to apply for residence so you log in you go to the student portal you put your student number that they gave you you put the password and then you go to residence application and then that's where you up you apply for your residence that's if you want to stay in res and then if you want to upload your documents afterwards that's where you also go you go to the student portal you log in also with your student number and password 
then you go to upload documents or you go where it says certificate scene it's going to show you an option where you can upload those documents so that's how you apply at a institution of higher learning it can be a university university of technology or an fet college so if this is all too much for you i do offer those services whereby i will apply for you but obviously for a fee because too much work time you know <laughs> now you can't just apply at one institution you have to apply at least two three or four institutions so you can holler at your sister holler at your girl i will do the deed for you just because i know a lot of people do want to do this but they don't got the time okay they don't got the patience some do got the time but they don't got the patience so holla at your girl i will do that for you but yeah that's how you apply at an institution of higher learning and guys please hurry hurry okay most institutions close in september october if you're lucky november but it's just a few that close in november because i know there's also a, there's already a few that have closed now end of july so please hurry 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 and another thing it's very competitive so please study study guys because they give first preference to students with higher marks okay so yeah i will be sharing more information with regards to this if you have any more suggestions of what you need me to share with regards you know metrics university applications registrations you know all that um information please let me know down in the comment section and then i'll just go ahead and make a video for you all right thank you so much for watching until the end of the video please do not forget to like share especially to matriculants guys share this information or to parents who have matriculants share this information and um subscribe to the channel please let's take this to hmm, let's take this to 500 at least guys please okay so yeah thank you so much and see you again on my next video bye